Hey, how's it going? It's Klaus Klaus. I'm coming back at you again. This time with a new vehicle review. Um, this is the Armadillo from the upcoming uh, Lightyear movie. It is for the 5 inch uh, figures that they have for it. Um, same as the $44, same scale as the $44 uh, Lightyear ship that you can find at Target right now. So I figured this would be good. Um, eventually, I will repaint it and customize it. But I figured this would be good for some of the smaller aliens I have for my Black Series. Because mostly all my customs lately have been for Black Series. So we're going to start out. It is from nose to front. Or from front to back. Uh, tw about 12 and a half inches tall, uh, long. It is uh, about 8 and a half to the top of the fin here. 7 around here. And it is about 7, inch wide, seven inches wide from the bottom fins. And 8 to the top fins. Um, since it doesn't come with too much, these doors open. They just pop open. And I already have some light year accessories in here. These are those, uh, this comes from the crystal grade Buzz Lightyear figures, the little $12, $15 ones. I use them as coaxium for my, uh, Black Series, because I figured that's something they would look like. So that's cool. Um, it's real easy out the box. You just have to put on, because it's facing this way, you have to put on this fin here and this one down here. Other than that, that's it. Cockpit does open. And right now I have a 3 and 3 quarter inch pile from Rogue One, the best Star Wars movie. Don't at me, I don't care. It's my favorite. It's the best. But yeah, he fits in there good, even though it is three and three quarter and this is a five inch scale. Um, and then there's a button here. When you press it, the pop, the bottom or the back pops open. Oh, sorry. And there is this little blaster can that can go here. And this. you can fit a figure back there or whatnot. Uh, right now I have Quill because he is a smaller Black Series. This can easily be popped off whenever, but if you ever need him riding shot or not shotgun, but blasting somebody away from the back, that's on the back. <laughs> but yeah, so pretty much this can this can come off real easy. This is cannon, and then you just close it. Oh shit! I'm moving everything around. Um. Real quick, real easy to close there. I've noticed that it has this hole here, and then there's one on top here. I don't know what they're for. Maybe for, I don't collect the 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 figures from this movie. I only collect the vehicles because I always like vehicles, anyways. But I'm pretty sure some whatever accessory they have that can fit in there. Um, but yeah, other than that, like I said, it's 12 and a half inches long. About eight and a half inches tall and um, that it goes good with the in my opinion it goes good with the black series so here is as for size comparisons let me open this up again there we go you can have chopper coming out that's my custom chopper I made from quill and quill does fit in the cockpit but you gotta take the backpack off and if you haven't done like me I ended up popping his head off. I heated up the head and I popped it off and then I bored out the hole a little bit that way his head can pop off easier. Let me see. Yeah, and as you can take off the backpack but okay. As of right now, I got a pile in there with the rubber band. Let's see. So now yeah it's pretty good in there so like I said I like vehicles I'm in the middle of making a Tatooine City for my black series uh, six inch uh, six inch figures so that's gonna be taking up a lot of space and vehicles are always fun to have but if you don't have quill and if you want to go back further maybe to solo and if you have a real figure he does uh, does he fit you know what, this belt was making it kind of tricky. So with this belt on, it, 
he wouldn't fit in a cockpit too well. You're going to have to modify it. And I did not want to do that since it's the only one I have. Um, Hera, with her legs crisscrossed like that, she can fit in there pretty good. I don't know why I keep closing this. But yeah, she's in there. No problems. Um, and Ezra even okay of him. He's closing it real easy. So if you want to use it for a rebels crew or whatever, or just for the aliens, if you you know if you like me, you have any customs or whatnot, it work good. I like it. It's simple. It's you know it, it's pretty blocky or whatnot, but I mean. You can use it for whatever, man. I'm going. I plan to repaint this, and um, just give it a crazy paint job and go from there. But other than that, it's fun to have. I found it on. Uh, I found it on Amazon for forty dollars. Um, both doors can open. But yeah, dude, I really, really like it. It's big. It's lightweight too. It's just big and bulky. But there we go. But yeah, I think it's super cool, man. I was pretty excited. I just seen this in a group, a Facebook group. Someone put an ad, and then um, or someone put a link to it, I should say. And then I just went and I ordered it. So I do like it. The details cool. Um, like I said, if you have smaller figures, maybe if you have a what's that acid rain figures, they might work in there. Anything that looks more uh, sci-fi would work great. But uh, if there's any other questions y'all have, let me know. I recommend it if you like vehicles like me. Uh, I think it's just pretty fun to have. And you can store shit in the inside here. You know, like I said. Looks like Quill can almost stand in it. Maybe not. But not without sitting down or not. But it's cool, man. Like, it's compact size. So, no, your stormtroopers are not going to be able to fit in there. Excuse me. But... It just looks like it'd be it'd go good in the Star Wars universe. So that's that. But like I said, if you have any any questions or anything, just uh put them down in the comments. Give a like, give a subscribe. Appreciate your time, and we'll see you later.